Marcel Ernie Racing News back at the Kelowna Courthouse on May 23rd, May 23rd, 2023. In one month from today, June 23rd, I will be here in Provincial Court at 11.30 a.m. in Room 7. I welcome everybody in the area of Kelowna to come check out the court. Ernie, public interest versus herbs, Constable Herbs. And uh, so what I did today was I did a courtroom courtroom equipment request for provincial court where so to allow me to have video monitors in the courtroom that I can use and plug into to give my video evidence from January 29th in the courtroom guys um, this is uh, January 29th 2022 the revolution of Canada and the rest of the globe <laughs> Okay, so what can I do for you? Okay, do you have your ID is what I've asked you for? I, I don't need to give you ID. Okay, then I'll be towing your car. So, it's 8.09 p.m. It's 8.09 p.m. Correct. So why can't I be here at 8.09, uh, mister, over there? Why are you talking to him? I'm talking to you. Oh, because you're not actually talking to me. You're just being negative towards so me. So I'm going to start a timer so that we can all be lawful. So if you like, you can uh, record this on your So, because you work for the city over there, why, why am I not allowed parking here, here? Put that in your camera. So you have a 10 minute yeah. timer. What's your name? My name. What's your badge number? To you when you provide me What's your, your name and badge number? number? My name's available to you out here. What's your name and badge number? Did you not hear what I just said to you? I said, I'm asking you the question. Okay, What's your fine. name and badge number, please? Okay, you you failed to comply with me, so I'm failing to comply with you until you meet me out here. I've done nothing illegal. I'm parked That's on not true. public streets. That's not true. You have done something illegal. What have I done illegal? I've already explained it to you. No, the the front plate is not a so criminal the offense. The, the front timer... plate is not a criminal offense. We're Stop acting crimes. like a child. I just told you motor vehicle accident. What is your name, sir? You're going to be on YouTube if you keep this That's up. That's fine. I like YouTube. All right, why don't you show more, me your face and be I've human? I've got more fans than you do. So What's, the complaint? What's the complaint? What's the complaint? It's available for you. What is We're the complaint? <laughs> What's the complaint? What's the, but we've already explained this. No, no, I don't know what the complaint is. I don't know why you knocked on my door. You're parked here. You're unwelcome here. Unwelcome? Correct. Were you discriminating against me? I don't understand. Yeah. How am I not welcome here? I am. I am. See, I live problem, in Kelowna. Sir. We're trying to have dialogue. If you camp here overnight, it's a bylaw offense. Okay. Bylaw. Yeah, I know. So I know I'm allowed to be here, and I know I'm not allowed to camp here overnight. Yeah, right. Yeah. I think so. so like, is there something else going on here? Like, yeah. why is he harassing me? Know. Why are you... Officer, you better tell me your name. Why are you harassing me and what is your name? I have a lawful authority to request identification. You have failed... No, you don't. You need probable cause to ask for identification. I'm not driving the vehicle. That's not true at all. So what you need to understand... Oh my God, you don't know you shit, dude. Okay. And then I also requested to extend the court time. They only gave me 30 minutes initially when I got this court date. And so I went up to um, the court management and uh, requested a longer time for cross-examination, for testimony from herbs, and of course um, to have video evidence. And she extended it for one hour. And uh, so, yeah, guys, one month from today we'll be here in Kelowna. And I then I went over to, as you can see, took this special secret elevator in the back of the courthouse up to room uh, the third floor where they got like, barricaded off for the crown. Obviously the crown um, needs protection from the public because they got the steel wall and like the, the mics that you talk through. Um, oh, hi there. Um, I'd like to know who the crown will be in my case. Um, this is my upcoming, I guess you could just see it, upcoming scheduling for uh, in provincial court for May 23rd, 11.30 a.m. And I'd like to know who the crown is. Yeah, please, and it has contact information, email, phone number would be great. Sorry, what was your name? Marcel Ernie. Um, you can see it right there, Marcel, M-A-R-C-E-L, Ernie is I-R-N-I-E. Is that a charter? I did a charter application, yes. Are you wanting to write a letter? I wanted to contact the Crown, yes, but I'll probably just give him a call. You can either call the main number or um, write a letter and I'll So you don't, there is no person representing the Crown in my case as of yet? You can't just call them directly. I mean, if you want to contact the assistant and they can set something up, 
Yeah, I was really just hoping for his name, phone number, email, and then I could reach out to the Crown and see how he wants to proceed with the trial. Okay. Okay. So when you call, you can just ask for him, okay. and then I'll transfer you. So I asked for Robin, and then that's the phone number. Okay, all right, thank you very much. All right, so we get nowhere fast. And then I have to call the Crown now, because I want to talk to the Crown and see how he wants to proceed with the possibly a blended trial. Are we using the testimony from previously? Um, and see how he wants to proceed, Ernie Racing. And they, they would not give me the name of the crown. They wouldn't tell me who the crown is representing um, the, the charges against me, which is so strange. We don't give out that information. You have to call the crown council, ask for the assistant Robin, and they will direct me from there. I mean, I'm here in the building. I went to crown. Why do I need to call the number? I'm there in person. Just give me the name of the crown so I can give them a call. It, it's... The bureaucracy, the, the, the process is such bullshit. This is Ernie Racing News, guys. Right now, May 24th, it is 1.30 p.m. 2023. I'm calling the Crown, 250-470-6822, asking for Robin. Lindsay speaking. Well, hi there. Um, I'm looking for Robin. Is she available? Uh, no. Uh, but... Is this with respect to Crown, uh, a criminal matter? Uh, it's respect to provincial court over a charter application for traffic violations. Um, okay, so I can... Robin, Robin is a male, um, and I will transfer you over to him. Just one second. Oh, okay, thanks for clarifying. Yep. Please leave a message for Bachelor Robin AG X. After the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, hang up or press the pound key for more. God damn it, I don't want to leave a voicemail. Good afternoon, Kelowna Crown Council Office. Hi there, can you pass me over to Mr. Robin, please? Sure, one moment. Thanks. You're welcome. Please leave a message for Bachelor Robin AG X. Hey, um, Mr. Robin, this is Marcel Ernie calling. Um, I'm looking for who will be Crown Counsel in my upcoming court case in Provincial Court. File number 4801, the ticket number AJ24625678-1. Appearance date is June 23rd, 11.30 a.m., Clona Court, room 7. Um, scheduled for one hour, so I'd like to know the name, phone number, and email um, contact information for who is representing the Crown in my case so I can reach out to him and discuss a few topics such as proper disclosure and um, issue of my application and how the trial will go and um, in terms of or and in terms of the previous judicial justice um, will that be incorporated evidence from before thank you uh, thank you thank you hope to hear from soon Okay, we're getting nowhere, guys. Um, so far, we'll see if I hear back and actually get uh, the name of the Crown here. Okay, now it's 2.20 p.m. Good afternoon, Kelowna Crown Council office. Hi there, it's Marcel calling back. Um, I keep getting Robin's voicemail. Is he even in the office? Robin, the assistant well, for... I know, yeah. Oh, okay, because um, I guess I'll just leave him a voicemail. Did you leave him a message? Yeah, I did, but I forgot to leave my phone number in the message, ironically. But uh, if you could... Uh, hopefully, he'll pick up. If he doesn't, I'll leave my phone number this time. Okay, one second. Thanks. You're welcome. Double sign, double sign. Please leave a message for Bachelor Robin AG X. Hey Robin, it's Marcel Ernie calling back, leaving a second voicemail. I Sorry, I forgot to put my mobile phone number in there. I figured you could maybe find it through the file number, but anyways, it's 250-869-2515. Again, I'm looking for who the Crown Counsel is, so I have his information, his or her information, to uh, discuss my case before trial. Ernie of Public Interest versus Constable Conrad Erbs. Again, hope to see everybody in the court June 23rd. 
11.30 a.m. I'll be here 20 minutes early outside to say hello to everybody before we go to the second floor, room seven, down around the hallway. Cheers. I am allowed, we are all allowed to park vehicles in downtown Kelowna. People go to the bars, they go to the pubs, they go to concerts, they go to movie theaters. They park their vehicle there and if they happen to be drunk or they and they can't drive their vehicle home, people leave their cars overnight in downtown Kelowna and they come back and get them in the morning before they get a parking ticket. You know, hey guys over there, I'm a human, you know, this is not appropriate, you know, like this is nuts, this herb guy. This is trivial, this whole thing. You, you can't camp here overnight. Uh, yeah. That's all I wanted. Oh, so are you, because you're the bylaw, right? Or security, I don't know. We're, but we're, yeah. We're security for the city of Kelowna. Then how come you didn't just knock on the door earlier? Because I don't feel comfortable arguing with people. Yeah, me neither. I don't like it either, dude. It's terrible. I know. But I mean, you could... have more people with me assisting me than oh, not. Oh, yeah. But I mean, we wouldn't have... I mean, yeah, we didn't need to argue. You could have just been like, hey, buddy, you can't camp here. And I'm like, no, I know. It's 7.50. I wasn't planning to camp here. Maybe at 11 o'clock, then that conversation would have been appropriate. Uh, Dr. Hall. I think with him being in the truck portion of the camper, I don't think he has to produce a right answer. But in, in order for my offenses, he does. And I, I'm not satisfied that he's the registered owner. I don't know what happened to you today, dude, okay. but I'm not your problem. With mine, where it's not just a simple black and white traffic ticket, it, it turns into a kangaroo court. It's just the process doesn't let me defend myself correctly. The, um, the Crown brought up the Freedom Convoy and led herbs to talking about the Freedom Convoy. And here I can, so they're creating prejudice against me and there's no way to defend yourself in judicial justice. And the fact that herbs, you know, crossed out the ticket to interfere with my process to appeal then but not on his copy. And the fact that then he serves me a small claims lawsuit in court, delaying court 30 minutes. He held up the courts for 30 minutes so he could go downstairs and do personal business wearing his police uniform. And again, the judicial justice didn't care. So we're actually going to get in front of a real judge now. There's a big difference between a judicial justice and a judge. So we're getting out of this kangaroo court, this traffic kangaroo court where nothing seems to go well. And uh, now we're getting in front of a real judge. And uh, they only scheduled us for 30 minutes. I asked the girl, if she says it can go over, but they typically don't. Um, you can imagine we're just gonna get in front as I haven't had full disclosure. You know, here is my affidavit saying that the events that transpired, which show prejudice against me being peaceful protester, my right to peaceful assembly and protest, and my right to film and do media um, has been violated and then the harassment started and so on and so forth guys so that's it guys again we got our court date in front of a real judge on June 23rd 2023 room 7 at 11 30 a.m. so feel free to meet me outside the courthouse like you know 15 20 minutes before court uh, probably 20 minutes before court and then go wait inside the waiting area for the courtroom in fact, I should go check it out right now so I know exactly where I'm going. This is Ernie Racy News. Today is May 4th, 2023. Learning the process, guys. Citizen lawyer, citizen news reporter. That's what's going on here. Thanks for watching at the Kelowna Courthouse. My hands up from filming guys. Holy smokes. From within the northern the white whale. So awesome. So awesome guys. There is hope. There is hope. We're not gonna be locked in our country forever. We're not gonna have to live under a totalitarian regime anymore and forever, hopefully. Like this is strong. This gives real freaking hope, guys. Kelowna, BC. It's just after noon. 
on the 29th that remember that date the 29th guys january 29th 2022 the real revolution of the world for freedom what's the complaint complaint. what's the complaint you it, it's available for you. What is the complaint? The <laughs> What's the complaint? What's the, but we've already explained this. No, no, I don't know what the complaint is. I don't know why you knocked on my door. You're parked here. You're unwelcome here. Unwelcome? Correct. Were you discriminating against me? I don't understand. Yeah. How am I not welcome here? I am. I am. See, I live problem, in Kelowna. Sir. We're trying to have dialogue. We're trying to achieve this at the lowest level of intervention. You're and acting you like a politician, it. sir. Please so answer this the question. Is for your likes on your video. Why? So are you no, no, no. I am. Going? I am not happy about this. Sure. Is very stressful. That's fine, sir. Okay. Why? I'm not here to make you happy. What is the complaint? Job. You, if you I've say there's a complaint. Wh- Repeatedly. We're what going is? In circles. No, the complaint is that I've been parked here. I'm allowed to park here. It's not that, that you're I came and went here four times. There are vehicles parked here, sir. Okay. What is the issue? You are in your vehicle, you're occupying your vehicle. You have said multiple times you're in a boat, you're not in a boat. No, you're the and one who calls it a boat. I've never heard that term before. You use that term at 9-11, we have it on camera. So it's fine. You are the one who said a boat. Dispute it how you want. Dispute it how you want. We've got video too. You're not the only one with video. So really we're going in circles for nothing. So you don't, I don't know why so I'm being... So what would being... you like to do now, sir? Are you leaving or are we towing? You haven't told me why you knocked on my door. I have. Because I've parked here and I'm allowed to park here as a citizen of Canada and a citizen of Kelowna. So why did you knock on my door? So there are overlapping levels of legislation, okay? There are, there are bylaw offenses of the municipality. 4.1.2 W. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, it's, I can't oh, say exactly where it is. Cause okay, I'm reading 4. Point, sorry, 4. Point what? 1.2 W. 4. Point, right okay, yeah, it's just up higher. 4.12, oh, I see, M O O P. Can you just pass me the book? I'm no, not, I can't. I'm not going to steal is it. Like right in here. Oh my God, okay. I don't see no W, sorry. I don't see a W. I don't see a W. I don't want to I don't want to see that guy. He was arrogant, indifferent, angry, obnoxious, belligerent, aggressive. He was absolutely aggressive, intimidating, threatening, combative. Yeah, he was intimidating and threatening, threatening to tow me when I'm in the camper for and making up fabrications of bylaw notice of overnight abode which was thrown out by bylaw sergeant staff Scott Given the circumstances and how everything played out, we were comfortable with pulling it all back and, and calling it back from collections. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I'm glad that was actually able to do that. I wasn't sure. Yeah, um, it's a bit of a chat task, but it's, it's, we'll take care of it. It's funny when you look up the ticket for um, a boat on the side of the road for the 420 or whatever it was. I don't have it in front of me. It, it doesn't really stipulate exactly what I was doing. It's more like if I'm setting up a campsite, you know, like literally like a tent and and spending like you know setting up a pit not just parking on the side of the road that's what, well in in giving it some review my personal position was that it was there was dependent on the individual it, it could be open to interpretation and i didn't necessarily uh feel that that was a definition was met and that's why i supported the withdrawal perfect perfect well i appreciate um you looking into it um i yeah. wasn't even sure i was going to get a call back so it, uh, you're oh, just making course. my day we great call back. <laughs> call back. Okay. There, are, there are bylaw offenses of the municipality then there's provincial legislation here it is on bclaws.gov.bc.ca under interpretations under the motor vehicle act regulation driver means a person who drives or is in actual physical control of the vehicle the vehicle was locked there was nobody in the motor vehicle there was only an occupant in the camper so owner is with respect to a vehicle means the person who holds the legal title to the vehicle or you could say the person whose name the vehicle is registered so again there was no driver and the definition 
on the Motor Vehicle Act regulations for camper means a structure designed to be mounted upon a motor vehicle and to provide facilities for human habitation or camping purposes. Let me say it again, a structure designed to be mounted upon a motor vehicle. The camper is on a motor vehicle. There's nobody in the motor vehicle. Herbs doesn't know his Motor Vehicle Act regulations or his Motor Vehicle Act. So yeah, so he gave me a ticket for MVA 71B um, failure to produce a driver's license. A person commits an offense if the person while driving, operating, or in charge of a motor vehicle on a highway does any of the following, refuses to f and fails to produce a subsisting driver's license, permit certificate, motor vehicle liability insurance card, financial card, or consent issued to him under the act when requested by a peace officer or constable to do so, or refuses the, to fail or fails to permit it to be taken in hand for the purpose of inspection by a police officer or constable. Again, Herbs doesn't know legislation. He recites it over and over. This is a Motor Vehicle Act leg legislation. You have to give me your ID. No, I don't. No, nobody does. No public citizen on a public sidewalk has to identify unless they have reasonable, articulable suspicion that you have committed a crime. I think with him being in the truck portion of the camper, I don't think he has to produce a license. But in, in order for my offenses, he does. And I, I'm not satisfied that he's the registered owner. The truck portion of the camper, I don't think he has to produce a license. But in, in order for my offenses, he does. And I, I'm not What's your name? My name. What's will your be badge number? To you when you provide me What's your ID name and badge number? number? My name's available to you out here. What's your name and badge number? Did you not hear what I just said to you? I said I'm asking you the question. Okay, What's that's your fine. name and badge number, please? Okay, you you failed to comply with me, so I'm failing to comply with you until you meet me out here. I now, in terms of not IDing, we can look at the CRCC website, the Civilian Review and Complaint Commission, and they have allegation types. And number one is F, neglect of duty. I'll read it to you. This category addresses allegations that a member failed or refused to perform a duty or provide a service that members are expected to provide, or did perform a duty or provide a service, but in a manner which does not meet RCMP standards. Included are allegations of refusal to identify oneself. That's it. Now he also did J, oppressive conduct. This category addresses severe misuse of police authority or powers, which are aggravated harassment, unfounded, unfair, or embellished charging, and threats or intimidation by any of the foregoing. So he threatened to tow me if I didn't come outside. Uh, he would not identify himself. He threatened to give me tickets if I don't come outside and meet him in the streets and identify. The tow truck actually hooked up as a threat as well with me in the camper. A three-hour misuse of police authority or powers over a parking warning that the, the Commissioner Security S. Rath just said, I just want somebody to tell you that you can't camp here overnight. If you're still here at 6 a.m., it'll be a bylaw ticket. So if we go back to neglect of duty F, mismanagement of a public complaint. So there was a complaint that this vehicle has been here parked most of the day, and we need to make sure that he knows that he can't camp here and camp here overnight. So that is a total mismanagement of a public complaint. Now he stated in his synopsis, Herb stated that there was a detailed security report and there was a witness and there's a complaint that I was causing a disturbance all day. Okay, let's read Conrad Herb's synopsis one, which he dated March 1st at 1455 hours in relation to the traffic tickets that he's given me. And what's really interesting here, I highlighted in yellow in the middle of his synopsis. The male was not arrested as was inside the motorhome. What have I been telling everybody after the fact and what the video footage shows is I did not want to get outside of my camper and meet him in the streets because the way things were going, he had planned or wanted to do something unjust to me. And there was the potential that it was going to be a physical unjust action by herbs. Let alone, you know, I get in the motor vehicle and start driving and he pulls you over right away and then he can ask for your driver's license because you're now you're in physical control of the motor vehicle, right? The worst case, you get outside and the guy tries to put his hands on me. 
So anyways, again, the male was not arrested as was inside the motorhome. His own freaking synopsis. Now let's go on to the detailed security report. It says in, in red highlight, the commissioners explained that the male had been causing disturbance throughout the day in relation to the freedom mandate protest. Commissioner witness, which is redacted, provided a detailed security report to police. Again, I asked for full disclosure. I asked for the particulars in terms of my violation tickets, and he never gave a detailed security report. He never even gave the commissioner witness name. He didn't bring a witness to court. He didn't bring any disclosure besides this written synopsis and one photo of the back of my camper with my Canadian flags and the dirt bike hanging off. What more do I need to show, guys? Point made. And then there's federal legislation, okay? This, guy's this was explained to you. Just like the fellow on my phone says, you're full of shit, dude. What's the name you on your full phone? Of shit, buddy. What's you're the fellow on your phone's name? Bylaws, bylaws. Like, what, the what by? What is the complaint? Come on, sorry. I, I want to know why I'm being... I think the issue became that eventually the vehicle has to be moved due to overturn parking. And because it may be occupied, we have an obligation to not tow an occupied vehicle. So the knock on the door is to see if anybody's inside and to make sure that we can have you come out and get in the vehicle and leave or else it's going to be towed. And we obviously don't want to tow an occupied vehicle. Well, that was at 7.52 he knocked on my door and he didn't, and he still hasn't given us reason of why he knocked on my door. You can see how this is really I'm just wrong. I just oh. explained to you, a reason to knock on the door is to see if the vehicle's occupied before we start no, the No, he said he had a file on you. No, he said he, he said he had a file on me and that there was a complaint. So, so what is the complaint, is that officer? The complaint? Is that the complaint? That's the complaint. It's that simple. That I've been parked in front of, of the, the city hall? That bylaws is in the interest of moving your vehicle because it's been here overturned. Well, then why didn't bylaw knock on the door? Because, you know, bylaw does that. I by, This is a bylaw complaint. So why is the officer knocking on my door before bylaw is? That's, right? That's not the case. That's not how I understand it at all. Security interacted with you. For the city of Kelowna. Then how come you didn't just knock on the door earlier? Because I don't feel comfortable arguing with people. Because I don't feel comfortable arguing with people. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. I don't like it either, dude. It's terrible. I know. But I mean, I'd you couldn't... have more people with me assisting me than oh. not. So then there was no bylaw. So For, security, today. you were with security and you knocked so on the door. The, the RCMP can enforce municipal bylaws. Just so that you're... So, I'm not telling you something. Bylaw and security are two separate things. Separate things. Okay, not, so not what, do we, what do we do here? Why are you just not so, leave me alone? Sir, just so that we're all on the same page for your video log, it's 2214 hours. You're saying that you've been here since 751 p.m. No, that's, that's when you knocked hours. on the door. That's over three hours. Because I'm waiting, I was waiting for okay. for you. The watch command. Okay. Because I felt so, threatened by you, of you course. Felt threatened. Okay. And I so still At this do. point, I think all of us want the same thing. And that's I, I just want to go home and I don't want him to tow me and I don't need tickets for we no reason. We don't want to tow you. We, well, you've already received a ticket for overturned parking, I believe. Is the yeah, and at and it, bylaw is fine, yeah. And, the, and the, he, the bylaw could have knocked on the door, obviously. You know, I'm a human, right? I'm a human. Of so are you. Right. So and, is yeah. him. Everybody's human here. I, I was not causing an issue. I was, I was a very good citizen on the side of the road here, not causing any harm to anybody. I don't deserve to be treated like this. Honestly, I do not deserve to have this stress for three hours. So no problem. The tow's on the way. Yeah, good luck. No problem, it's being towed at your expense. No, good yeah. luck with that. I already have my photo evidence. No that problem. I'm parked on the street at fucking 10 o'clock. I'm not concerned with parking. What is your name? Tell me your name. Why are you getting angry? Because you are causing a disturbance in I'm Kelowna. Disturbance. I am a lawful, humble person here in my RV. Yes. On the city of Kelowna, I am allowed to and be you're here. Willing to comply with the Motor Vehicle Act of British Columbia. I don't know where it's going on my front plate. It should be right on there. Okay, come look. I'm not getting outside, so you can do some unlawful, unjust things. Because the way you're acting, that's what you plan to do or wish you could do. Okay, that's great. So when you post what is your name? YouTube, what is your name? A lawyer can give you. Can you advice. tell me what this guy's name is, guys? I couldn't tell you. You don't. You don't know what this officer's name is. So. You can have my name when you get out of the vehicle. We can look at your plate and deal with this like adults. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Fuck me. Yeah. So you're giving me the middle finger on your YouTube video. Yeah, because you That's deserve it. You deserve it. I deserve it. it. Okay. You can't tow me with me in here. This, this, I'm waiting for the watch commander. 
This officer is harassing me, Mr. Tow Truck Driver. Because I have the Canada flags, Mr. Tow Truck Driver, I am being harassed by this officer, Herbs. Because I was here. No, I know, but you're also a truck driver and you're not allowed to tow with me in the vehicle and I am not leaving. I am waiting on the watch, Commander. Do you understand? My vehicle is in four wheel drive. It, it, you're not allowed to tow this weight. You're not doing this. I got the dirt bike on the back that's going to drag. You're not allowed to tow a vehicle with me in the abode. I have done nothing wrong. Move on. No, the tow truck driver, he doesn't give a shit. He's going to do something bad here. Really bad. He's going to wreck my truck. What are you doing, Mr. Tow Truck Driver? You can't tow a duty like this in four wheel drive. I'm waiting on the watch commander. This is insane. Mr. Tow Truck Driver. He's trying to tow me. This The police is harassing me, dude. Mr. Tow Truck Driver. I was just parked here for the rally and I'm being harassed because of that. Do you have a conscience about this? You cannot tow a vehicle with me in it. You know that. That is illegal. You are on film as well. I'm recording. At this point, I'm not actually towing you. Oh, okay. All I'm doing is hooking you up. And you did not ask my permission to be filmed. It's a public space I'm allowed to, but I'm doing it for my own protection because I'm being harassed by this Officer Herbs. I'm being harassed by this guy and I'm still waiting for the watch commander, mister. I, I'm not sure if he's coming or not. What I can inform you though, sir, is that based on everything here, we need to ensure that you're going to be safe and the tow is going to be safe and we don't want to render damage to your vehicle. So what we need is the keys to the vehicle because it's a... No. You're not being... You're not being... Do you hear this guy, Matt? No. no, dude. You think I'm playing your game? You are harassing me, dude. I don't appreciate this. Yeah, so he's saying, oh, no, you're going to get towed. Like, big fuck. Nah, he's like, one more thing. I'm not paying attention to this asshole. Man, this guy, this is hilarious. I can't believe what a waste of resources, eh? What a waste. You're a waste of resources. He's asking me to bring my window down. I'm in, I'm in my abode. I'm in my abode. I can't hear you. Get your watch commander out here! Yeah. Alright, yeah, just don't don't yell at him. You're just gonna make it worse. Just hang out and wait it out. They can't move you. They can't do anything. You can't just relax. You're, you're fine. They're well, just well you uh, imagine you and imagine just anyone. Watch the Seinfeld. Just start watching the Seinfeld. They started oh. That'll piss them off. Put some music on or something? Some music on? Just start watching just start watching TV. Just ignore uh, it. Yeah. <sighs> Dig in. Dig in. I'm digging in. Yeah, just okay, yeah, I don't watch, even be at the window. Just try, just try to relax. You know, okay, relax I'm relaxing. Hang out. Yeah. Turn on the TV. Yeah, just wait him out. I don't, wait till he gets down there and explain. You're just hanging out, and all of a sudden you got this cop. He's, 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 they're, no, they're knocking on all the windows. Knocking on all the windows. Dude, you should just at least come down here and be like next to park in your vehicle and watch and make sure like in case you need to get out and film me like being assaulted. They're not gonna assault you. They're, just doing, they're, they're banging going. on the windows, yeah. dude. This is messed up. This is scary, man. This no, is... I, I can't come down there. I'm stoned. They're, oh, they're yeah. Okay, okay. okay, okay. I understand. I yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not walking. I'm gonna put on some Seinfeld. Put on some Seinfeld. Season four, episode two. Yeah, just wait, just be calm. Just calm. That's the key. Dude, I mean, for anyone, can nobody can be calm when this is happening, though. Yeah, you're in the right. I think you're in the right. Just hold your ground. He's banging on the windows, dude. Banging on the so, windows. Uh, he'll get cold. It's cold outside. He's going to get cold. Yeah, don't worry right. about it. Mm -hmm. You're inside and you're warm. He's outside and he's cold. Like, don't worry about it. You're going to be fine. <laughs> you have the upper hand here. You know? Whew, okay. I mean, I didn't do anything, and I'm just... No, you didn't, no, just just say it. That's all you wanted, you're just hanging out. Now you are now you have to stay, because it's a matter of principle, right? Because, like, that's all this is, you know? He's, they're yelling, can you, I do, can you open the door, man? Can you open the door? Yeah, don't, because they're going to get cold. Just relax. Don't, don't, don't taunt them, don't. Okay. Say anything about it. Just okay. start watching TV and ignore them. That'll piss them off because yeah. then they're gonna be sitting there watching you watch TV. I'm just watching. Like, Fuck, I'm cold. You know. 
I bet you'll go sit in their car in like 10 minutes if you just wait them out. Yeah, see, they're just, they don't want to be out in the cold. So yeah, I don't know, wait him out, wait till the watch commander comes there and call me back, I'm curious. Yeah, but what if he doesn't, should I call back? Yeah, well, I don't know, yeah, he might as well. Okay, okay. He's yelling at me, but it's nice to have you on the phone to keep me calm, too. They're just yelling. Dude, I'm being fucking harassed. This is nuts. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean... Where, where are you parked, anyways? Right in, right across from Stewart Ice Rink Park. Yeah. You know, okay, so maybe yeah. I should call him back. Yeah, call him back and be like, come down here and mediate this. Okay. Just be like, people are hot-headed here. Okay, okay, I'll let you go, Matt. I'm going to call him right now. All right. Hi there, this is Marcel calling back. I was talking to watch um, 019 earlier, and I'm waiting for a watch commander to come down and, and uh, miti mitigate a situation here on Stewart Road. I'm being harassed by um, police and bylaw on Stewart Road, and it's um, um, it's really scary. So uh, like, I, I'm oh, waiting for the watch Stuart. commander, and nobody's calling me back. Okay, let me just see here where you are, because I haven't spoken with you today. Um, You're in West Kelowna? I'm in, I'm in Kelowna. Are, oh, are you the okay. watch commander? No, Marcel, I'm not. Okay? I'd like you to come to the window so we can have a talk. Okay, I feel threatened and this is really scary and I haven't done anything. Nope. I was minding my own business parking here and I'm being, Marcel? I'm being hassled by this okay. officer, Herbs. Okay. okay, Marcel. Come to the side window so we can have well, a talk. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for your watch commander and I'm on the phone with your RCMP. Okay, I'm not the RCMP. No, I know, so I'm, I'm not RCMP. talking to you. Marcel? Um, hello? Hello, is this Marcel? Yes. Marcel, hi. It's Corporal Hall from the watch office here, Cologne RCMP. Are you the watch commander, Corporal Hall? Uh, I am one of them, yes. Okay. So what can I do for you, sir? I need you to come down here and alleviate and mediate the situation with this officer, Herbs. Herbs and um, I, I, I feel very agitated and threatened by him. I feel like if I go, he's wanting me to get outside, I was just minding my own business in my RV, um, right where the Stewart Park is, and I feel like I'm being persecuted because I have the Canadian flags on the back and I was here for the rally. And okay. um, I would just like the situation to leave. I feel like when I walk outside, something bad will happen that won't, would not be appropriate. Um, so I'm just staying in my RV and they're banging on all the windows and doors and uh, I've talked to them and it's going nowhere. So I'm like, I'm not talking anymore until we have a watch commander down here. Okay. You're not paying no, for services. I then can take the vehicle because all of this is on you, not them. I was called by them to tow your vehicle. In the wrong and I told you not to hook up. Not in the so, wrong. No, I they, am he was contracted in the, to do what I, they know, tell and me he now. Unacceptable. No, unacceptable. And he was in the wrong. So I was told to you, hook up. So I have to no, listen do, to the do, RCMP. So much that from is the RCMP. what my yeah. contract yeah, states. Even be a big deal. Yeah, do you own that truck? Either get paid. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not or paying. Or has to get impounded. Yeah, well, and that's not that's appropriate. The case, then they have to step in because you're refusing to pay the outstanding bill. Sir, this is not appropriate. It's not my problem. It's, my problem it is, is your to problem. do my job. And my problem is to live. My job. The to, the one, you're the. I told you not to hook up. That's your fault, dude. No, I have to hook up when they tell me. Well, you're me under to contract. Do my job, so then you're. I have to do what. You know. RCMP so you is. work for Mario, and yeah. you're under contract, and you contract with the RCMP yeah. as being their main tow thing. So yeah. you can they take it up with the, the RCMP. So you should take it nope. up with the RCMP. Because when I was sent down here, I was told it was at owner's expense. No. And when I parked here, it's that city parking. Owner expense. Okay. That's the problem. If you're the owner, you okay. have to pay the bill. Okay. If so you're, you're not the owner, then you need to vacate, and no. I will tow the truck. You're not so being appropriate. 